Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Today is uh, Friday, September 2nd. This is your morning prayer. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, we are in the final chapter of Jonah. Um, If you recall, he's gone to Nineveh. He uh, called out um, the message that God gave him, and the people repented. They believed, and God relented of his anger and his punishment. So now we pick up Jonah chapter 4, verse 1. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was angry. And he prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord, is not this what I said when I was yet in my country? That is why I made haste to flee to Tarshish. For I knew that you are a gracious God, uh, and merciful, slow to anger, and bounding in steadfast love, and relenting from disaster. Therefore, now, O Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Do you do well to be angry? Jonah went out of the city and sat to the east of the city, and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade till he should see what would become of the city. Now the Lord God appointed a plant and made it come up over Jonah, that it might be a shade over his head, to save him from discomfort. So Jonah was exceedingly glad because of the plant. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, God appointed a scorching east wind, and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint. And he asked that he might die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Do you do well to be angry for the plant? And he said, Yes, I do well to be angry, angry enough to die. And the Lord said, You pity the plant, for which you did not labor, nor did you make it grow, which came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not pity Nineveh, that great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons, who do not know their right hand from their left, and also much cattle? The end. All right, so now we finally see the reason why Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh, why he ran away from God. It wasn't because he was afraid of Nineveh. It was that he was afraid of God. He knew that God is gracious and merciful, and Jonah didn't want God to be gracious and merciful. He wanted him to punish Nineveh. He hated the people of Nineveh. Um, And so he did not want to go and call them to repent because they might repent. And if they repented, if they turned to God, he would have mercy. And Jonah didn't want that. And so he, he's, he's very upset. He, just, he, he thinks it would be better to die. He's like, just kill me. I would rather die than see these savages um, call out upon you and be saved. Um, just a terrible, terrible attitude this guy has. Um, and he goes through where, where God appoints a plant to shade him. And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm very grateful for this plant. Yes, this is great. But then uh, it, it, uh, God appoints a worm to eat it. It dies. There's a scorching east wind. And now um, Jonah is back to just kill me. Just let me die already. This is, <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's not a great prophet. So um, we'll, we're going to stretch this out over two days. So we're going to look at uh, one part of it today and then another part of it tomorrow. Um, but first and foremost, the, the, the main thrust of what we have going on here is just how, um, you know, we, we want God to be merciful and, and gracious and loving when it benefits us, <laughs> when it works out for us, uh, when he's mer- merciful, we don't want him to be merciful with us. Grace filled. Yes. Everything or, or people we like. Right. And in all the situations that we want God to be merciful, absolutely. When it comes to the people who we don't like, our enemies, those who are in conflict with, um, those who have sinned against us, we don't want God to be merciful. Um, We want them to feel the full force of God's wrath for their sin. Right. Um, And so this what this text does for us as we go through it is really highlights um, our selectivity when it comes to God's grace. Um, and it, pretty much anything, uh, you know, as long as 
as long as what uh, God says agrees with us, we're good. Uh, so long as what God does agrees with us, we're good. It's when he does things that are not to our liking. When he says things that we don't agree with. Um, that's when we get really like, oh, well, I would rather not hear God. I would rather not, you know, we push him away. Um, we do this all the time, <laughs> whether we realize it or not. Uh, we are or very selective when it comes to allowing God to be God. Um, you know, we, we don't want him to be merciful to those we hate. <laughs> we don't want him to offer a second chance to somebody who has just done awful things to us. We don't want forgiveness for that. We don't want forgiveness for um, the people who we're opposed to. We love forgiveness for ourselves. We want forgiveness for the people we like, you know, the ones who have transgressed against us. But, you know, hey, that we, we like them. And though they sinned against us, yeah, okay, but uh, forgiveness is fine. But for the people we don't like, ooh, no, 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 no. Don't want that at all. Um, we want God's justice on them, but we got, want God's mercy for us. And that's what Jonah is doing. He wants justice, not God's mercy. Um, and when God shows his mercy, well, now he's upset. So um, this is a hard, hard thing for us to, to understand is that, you know, we're not God, <laughs> that um, we're not always going to be happy with the way God does things. We're not always going to be happy with what he says. Um, we're going to struggle with it. We're going to wrestle with it, um, which is fine. I mean, we're sinners. I mean, we're, we shouldn't expect that God's good, perfect, holy word is always going to be satisfying to us because we, we still struggle with our sinfulness, right? And sinful, our sinfulness wants nothing to do with God. Um, so that, that wrestling is, is okay. You know, it should be to, is, is to be expected. Let's just put it that way. Um, but it always has to end in a place where we say, okay, but God is, God gets the final word here. And we'll get into a little bit of that next, uh, tomorrow, but, um, how God has the final word, but, uh, we always, have to end up in a place where we say, well, even if, even if I still struggle with this, even if I still don't fully agree on my own terms, I have to acknowledge that this is the word of God. What he says goes. And even if I'm not quite there yet, that's, that's the standard. That is what we have. And how far away I am from that with accepting it, embracing it, whatever, doesn't matter because <laughs> his word is the word. Okay, we, we, we don't get to, uh, to monkey with that at all. So it's a, it's a difficult one. It's a challenging one, um, but it's an important one. So as, we, uh, as you go through this today, um, if you reread uh, chapter four for a devotion today, um, you know, think about, think about the, the last time you, you were upset that, about God's mercy. Um, you know, God's mercy being shown for somebody who you didn't think deserved it. Um, you know, when, in those situations, the, the easiest way to do it is just to look at ourselves, look in a mirror, say, you know what? I didn't deserve his mercy, but he gave it to me. I didn't deserve his love, but he loved me anyway. Um, I did not deserve his son, Jesus Christ. And yet he sent him to the cross to die for me. Um, this is the truth. This is, <laughs> this is what, what we contend with. And, uh, that is, uh, that's where we have to get in order to uh, be able to appreciate that, you know what, just as, as wonderful as God's grace is for us, it is for others too. And um, yeah, we, we need to learn to be okay with that. But very challenging, very hard. And we can see how Jonah was willing to die <laughs> rather than see God's mercy fall on somebody who he hated. Um, so let us not, let us not be Jonah. <laughs> let us not go down that road. Um, but rather, you know, wrestle with it if we have to. Sure. But at the end of the day saying, but you, Lord, you are God. and You will have mercy on those who, whom you have mercy. And I will praise you for it. So challenge. Absolutely. All righty. Well, let us pray. I thank you, my heavenly father, through Jesus Christ, your dear son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. 
For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, well, blessings to you on the end of the week here, Friday, um, finishing up uh, your work week, hopefully, uh, for the holiday weekend. And I hope you have a great day. So uh, we'll, we'll wrap things up tomorrow with uh, Jonah, and uh, it'll be fun. So until then, peace be with you.